Today is Saturday, November 2nd, and I have COVID. I've had it since, um, well, I tested positive for it on Wednesday, but I'm pretty sure I have been sick for um, a couple days before that. I just did not test positive until then. Um, Benjamin had it um, and tested positive um Monday, we were in the emergency room, and they tested him there, and he's actually, um, he's not doing too bad, um, he's feeling a lot better today. We kind of think that maybe because he, we suspect that he picked it up when he was at his infusion appointment, um, and maybe the, um, cancer drugs just killed off the COVID real quick. He just had a um, cough and fever pretty bad last weekend um, and he still just has a cough and but today he's out and about and but I'm I'm not doing very well from it but I'm up I figured I might as well. Um, at any rate so I thought I'd make just a quick video because today is National Bison Day, and it has only been a recognized national day since 2012. And I thought I would just um, make a little PSA about it. And um, one charity that I would uh, recommend uh, donating to that is working for bison restoration is the National Wildlife Federation and they have a 98% on Charity Navigator um, that's my go-to source when I look up a charity that I've heard about and just because they break down like where all their money goes and always a good source I think so if you are so inclined um, to help them out I help out the bison I would highly recommend that particular resource doing good work <sighs> I don't have too much else going on I've just been trying to i just been sleeping a lot this week, so obviously I haven't gotten a lot done, and um, I haven't gone into work since um, I went home early Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, um, and maybe I shouldn't have even gone into work then, but uh, I just dread going in there because, um, going back, because the last time... I was out for any length of time that wasn't, um, wasn't planned, um, nothing, because nobody else there can really step in except for my boss, and he, um, is not there, um, but half the week, and so my desk becomes a nightmare by the time I get back, but hopefully, um, it won't be too, too crazy, but I don't, I don't even know if I'll be able to get myself to go in on Monday, because I think, and it's just, it's so, well, so many things are just really upsetting about this situation of being sick again. Um, as I was saying, I think that, uh, Benjamin picked it up as it, at his infusion. We're at the hospital. Not a single person is wearing a mask there. Not an employee. And, I mean, this time, when I, I usually go in with him, um, at least for his doctor's appointment, and then I'll... I'll head out to run errands and such, and um, sometimes there will be one or two 
um, patients there that are wearing masks, but I couldn't tell you this time if I remember seeing um, any. And it's just, it's really infuriating. Um, it's just really infuriating. And same with when we went into the emergency room on Monday. Um, the ER doctor even, uh, and the nurse after they had administered the, uh, you know, several tests, he was just, you know, feeling pretty terrible and had a uh, shortness of breath and such. And the fever was the reason why um, we went in because um, during or after the infusion, uh, if a temperature reaches a certain point and stays there for like 24 hours, they, they told us to go into the emergency room. So that's what we did. Um, and even after they um, had administered all the tests and came back with the results, with the positive COVID result, neither the doctor nor the nurse were wearing a mask when they came back into the room. That is astounding to me. You just found out that one of your patients has COVID and no mask. Of course, Benjamin and I have been wearing masks everywhere we go. And it's just really, um, uh, how can I put this? I just find people to be so incredibly selfish. And, um, I actually was supposed to get my next booster. Um, it was yesterday. I had the appointment and when I had made the appointment, I walked into the pharmacy and um, in our little town, uh, there's like kind of a revolving door of pharmacists that are there. There's a, one main one that's typically there uh, regularly, and then there'll be fill-ins that will come in. I've never seen this particular pharmacist before, but I came in to make the appointment and I was dealing with uh, one of the staff there that I see. She's there all the time and she's real nice, um, but... <coughs> The pharmacist was standing there when I made the appointment, and I can't remember exactly what she had asked me. She had asked me if I had 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 an infection or something like that, because, and I'm assuming she asked me that because I was wearing a mask. And I said, uh, no, not that I'm aware of. My partner has cancer, and so I'm just uh, getting, you know, the latest uh, sh shot. And she was like... Oh, well, isn't that nice of you to do that? I'm like, really? Wouldn't that just be nice if every fucking person did that just because we're human beings? I don't... I'm just at this point, I just, I just really, um kind of sick of my fellow human beings and it just makes me not want to go out and do anything and that includes going into work and, you know um you know, it's, I don't know it's just really just a terrible state state of being well, I think I'm going to um, sign off for for now. I've got to... Uh, maybe I'll just wind this back in. Um, I've got a sale running right now in my shop. Just in, on two listings that have several earrings in each. But it's all my um, long four-strand... Uh, beaded earrings. They're 25% off through the weekend. I just like to clear a little bit more space. I'm just really happy with the um, the sales so far. I mean, October was really good and I'd, I'd like to clear off a little bit more room. I just can't make stuff and have it taking up room, I guess like the display room or keeping it in good condition. So I just don't want to make anything unless I have room to, to store it properly until it ships out. So um, and I've got a lot of ideas that I'd really like to get to work on at any rate. 
So if you feel so inclined or start starting to think of your, and I'm assuming that that's what people are doing, or starting to um, get their holiday holiday shopping in order or something, because I've been selling multiple multiples to the same, or you know, multiple ear earrings in one order. So I kind of think that's what's happening. Which is awesome. I like when people plan ahead. Um, I will be participating in Etsy's um, Black Friday Cyber Monday, which I th is really long. I think it starts November 17th and goes through the first week of... Um, first week of December or something like that. It's pretty long. <laughs> and I think I did something that's like store wide. Might be uh, twenty five or thirty percent off. I honestly cannot remember, but I'll I'll have more info about that the next time I pl I uh, make a video. I'll set up some links too. I'll link to the um, National Wild Wildlife Federation and uh, my Etsy shop, of course. And um, but I think that's all I've got for today. I can't talk anymore. So, see you next time.